Hello, uh, my name is Shoko Takemoto. I'm a disaster risk management specialist here at the Tokyo DRM Hub. And I'm here today uh, with Ms. Yolanta Crispin Watson. So first I wanted to ask you about the challenges of urban flood risks in developing countries uh, and some of the recent trends uh, happening uh, around the world. Thank you, Shoko. Um, let me start by, by two global challenges and, and trends. One is very rapid uh, urbanization yeah. and uh, basically urban areas expanding into flat plains and other disaster risk uh, zones with, with growing numbers of people exposed to, to flat risk and growing uh, exposure of, of assets. And then another factor contributing to, to growing flat risk is, is uh, climate change and the more frequent occurrences of, of uh, flooding, of higher pre precipitation, so frequency and uh, severity of, of those events. The third one, I think this is very interesting, is uh, really having um, investments in flat risk re reduction incorporated in, interestingly into urban design. Some of the World Bank's engagement in this field of urban flood risk management, uh, what are the types of projects we're doing, and also the importance of it uh, really for our overall portfolio. We respond to client needs and we see that demand for, for this support in this area is, is growing. And, and this is very clear. And all over, uh, basically in all the regions, the, the, the growth is, is very clear. Can you introduce us a little bit about what you do uh, uh, with the uh, Urban Floods Community of Practice? We basically we promote integrated uh, approach to flat risk and multidisciplinary approach because solutions uh, are both structural and non-structural. There are so many fields that contribute uh, and disciplines uh, that have to contribute to, to reduction and mitigation of, of flat risk. So, thank you so much, Yolanda.